What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and today I am super, super excited to show you this video. I've been working on this project for <laughs> well over a year. Um, it's finally happening and I'm so pleased with the product. This is something I've been in development for a very long time. Some of the OG subscribers know what I'm talking about already. Here we go. So yes, this is the T console. What this is, is where you put your phones is just underneath this in the Model 3 and the Model Y. Well, I came up with an idea to house a iPad mini, an iPad mini right in the center of there, flush with the plastic. So if you wanted to get to your phones, you just lift it up, you bring it down, and you can have ways going on this. You can have a bunch of your music. You can browse the internet on this. You can pick it up. When you're at a supercharger, don't uh, don't use while driving. You can be running a lot of things because Waze you can't have on there, but Waze is pretty nice for when you wanna know where speed traps are and things like that. So this can obviously link up Bluetooth to the screen, to the main screen, and you can play whatever you wanted on this. So this is something I've been in works for a long time. I started this a long time ago. I I originally started with a piece of fiberboard that I just glued some pieces on and made something that sat on top to proof of concept kind of thing. And then I took off the plastic layer of what is there now. Uh, imagine that, I took it apart. Then I took the backing of that and then layered on top of there a place to hold the iPad. So this actually worked. And I actually drove to Florida using this and it was really nice. It actually worked out really, really well. Then I had a company come in and scan the product, uh, what I created, so he can make a 3D model of this. And I played with this for quite a while. He printed one up for me, and it came out pretty nice just for mocking purposes, but you see all the Bondo. I had to readjust things, everything. It wasn't working properly. Uh, I had to make this work, but this eventually did work. And of course it's 3D printed, so it's nice and it's not as smooth. I had to sand this, it wasn't great. I spent a lot of money doing this, going around from company to company over the year, or over the year and a half of dealing with this. I tried to keep this in-house in the United States because I wanted to have quality control as far as the production goes. I, so I worked with a lot of local companies here in around Mooresville, North Carolina. I just got a run around from everybody. I wanted to see the process through myself. I, I had a company hit me up and said, we love the product, we want to help. We want to get this out there and we want to use your name on it. I said, finally, finally someone that wants to take one of my ideas and give me credit for it. Not naming any company's names out of Florida. It's kind of nice to someone to see your work and then you know, not just want to steal it as their own. So they hit me up and said, do you have any of the, do you still have the drawings, the, the, the CAD drawings and everything? And we worked together over the last six months now. It's been still even a long time. I think it is better than I thought. Way better than I thought it would come out to be. Let me get it out for you. Sent me the first production one. Well, actually they have it in their car, but the, one of the first production ones, this is the box it comes in. Again, don't use while driving. You open it up, a little protective plastic over it, and just to, you know, foam. But it's already fingerprinted up. This is the product. It is actually really, really nice. I'm pleased the way it came out. They have, just like in the factory, the backing piece here with the magnet over on this side, and then piece that fits on top of that. I got my iPad right here, and it fits right in there. This fits an iPad mini. Uh, four and five. This is an iPad mini five, so you can use a pencil on this one. Really nice, you can have Waze going here, your podcast, your Spotify, whatever you'd like to listen to, Apple Music, you can have your Twitter up there, but it's really nice to have everything in here. This came perfect timing for my trip up to Ohio. You'll see that in the video next week, but I'm going to install this and show you what it's like in the vehicle. And then I'm gonna do a whole nother install video. I'll give you some of the clips in this because it's not very difficult to install and it works wonderfully. It works wonderfully. Now I've removed the screen and the, so I can get a little bit better lighting in there and the camera angles are a little bit better. I, don't, I know a lot of people don't like the gloss black. As I'm recording this, I haven't talked to you yet, but I'm gonna be sending one of these out to Tesla Bros so they can scan this and they can make a, uh, and make a vinyl piece for this. So all your vinyls that most people have bought for Tesla Bros will fit this. So if you already have a certain vinyl for your dash, uh, so you can just order the vinyl for it. Okay, once again, do not remove the screen. I have just done this for demonstration purposes. Once this is closed, you just take your iPad, drop it in place, and it's there. You can barely see that it's there if you have a black iPad. And once you push the button, 
And with the fingerprint scanner, it pulls up all of your apps, not a problem at all. You can get to everything really easily. Uh, if we want to see what the weather here is going to be, uh, it's going to be really nasty here. This matches perfectly with the piano black finish. I love how this matches everything, and I went with a black background on here. Uh, it just kind of blends right in. Now, there's a lot of tricks you can do with the iPad as far as having it stay on all the time, or you can have it turn off after so many minutes, uh, or you can add a button to the screen so you can turn it off that way. Let me put the screen back here so you can see exactly what you can see on the iPad. All right, I've got the screen mounted back up into place. You can still dock your phone. Your phone goes right into place. You can put this down, set the iPad in there, and it is right there. You can see um, I have the GoPro actually a little bit higher than what my eyes are, uh, but you can see I my eyes i'm six foot five but i can see the top of the screen so i can see everything on there and this is the position i would be driving and this is what i'm going to be driving up to ohio and i do have my seat kind of far back but i can still get to everything that i would need to get to if we want to see the weather we can see the weather while we're driving and we can see if we're going to get into anything any type of bad weather situation which is really nice to have, as well as playing music. You link this Bluetooth to the car and then you're all set, not an issue. So I know what a couple questions are gonna be. Will an older iPad fit in here? Now this is an older iPad and yes, it will. It does slide back and forth a little bit because the iPad four and five are wider. Now it seems like it fits in there just fine. So you could do this. Um, or if you wanted to, you can have your phone and landscape view right there and you can use it this way. So you're going to be using an iPad in this situation. Now, am I going to be doing this for an Android tablet? And the answer is no way. I spent a ton of money on this and retooling and redoing this for an Android device doesn't make sense financially. Another thing is going to be safety. Say you're going to a store and you have this in there or I'm going on a trip. I'm not going to take this out and put it in the glove box or anything. All I'm going to do is lift this up and now no one can see that you have an iPad there. From the side angle, it just looks like a door that's open. And of course, if you get pulled over, lift this up so the cop doesn't see you have an iPad sitting there either. <laughs> and when you're ready to go, you just put the iPad back down and the screen rotates just fine. Again, to reiterate what, I'm, what you're seeing on camera, the camera is a little bit higher than what my eyes are, so your vision would be down to here. You're still gonna see the entire screen. I got in the back here and just kind of twist. It sounds like you're breaking it. You're not, most of it off, you can pull hard. That's what you need the T20 Torx bit for. And you just work at it. You just kind of lift up and wiggle out. You see they're held in with these little clips here. What I'm going to do here is take the magnet and hold it just below it. But all you need to do is make sure you don't drop it. This is when you need the paper towel again. There we go. You just lift it up, put it right up into here, and you are good. Again, it's taken a long time to make this. I think you'll enjoy it. There is a link down below so you can place your order. Again, it's only $49. It's made, it's made for the iPad Mini 4 and Mini 5, but it does fit the other ones. Uh, it's just not as well. It's really hard to put a product out there. And really, it's just my idea. These, this company actually went out there and put it out there. It is theirs. Uh, they just have my name on it and actually on the website it does show designed by Brian uh, again Do not use while driving that can cause you harm. Please do not do that. I don't want any of you hurt while driving As always stay awesome stay positive and check out your T console Click the link below